Hello everybody, I'm Karen Barno and welcome to my weekly video blog. Today's March 8th, International Day of the Woman, woohoo! And it's also a solar eclipse day, a little sidebar there, March 8th. Um, solar eclipse, new moon, new beginnings, new starts. Um, you might feel some emotional release taking place today. So just know that it's the um, atmosphere, it's the astrology. So, I, but I also want to talk to you today about space holders, people that are there, not not necessarily to nurture you, but to hold space for you as you walk on your path. You may come upon a, a time in your life when you just thought, you know what, this just isn't working out well for me, or I'm just done. You know, I'm I'm gonna go a different way, and they show up in your life to keep you going. They keep you on, you know, like picture picture the airport walkway, the the motorized walkway. They're just there to help you go. And they play such an important role, but they're probably the, the people that don't get credit. Nobody ever says thank you to, the, to these women because you just kind of move on. Because they show up, they hold space, they're there for a week, they're there for a month, and then they're gone. You know, I had two very important women that held that role. The first one was um, my 12th grade English teacher, Mrs. Walker. It was a public speaking class. When I first showed up in the class, I looked around and saw all the smart people sitting there, all the popular smart kids, and thought, this is certainly not the class for me. I was a big, huge screw-up in high school, graduated in the very, 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 very bottom of my class. I think they graduated me to get me out the door. Excuse me. Sorry about that. They graduated me to get me out the door, and she would never let me. She was like, no, you stay. You keep taking the class. I would go sit with her at lunchtime. On her lunch as a teacher, and back then, the, the teachers ate lunch in the classroom. Who wants to do that? And she would mentor me. And, and I credit her for my ability to speak publicly. And I credit her for the fact that most of my videos, well, really all of them are ad-libbed. She gave me the confidence. She held that space for me, knowing that, no, not that day and not a year, two years, or ten years. But she knew down the road, somehow inherently, that I would be a public speaker. And she was there to hold the space. The second one helped me in my junior year in, with math. Back in high school, I didn't know math at all. And it's so funny because I, when I went to college, and yes, I did go to college. When I went to college, my first math class, a guy put out this formula on the board. And it was like, well, I get this. This isn't hard. And I'll never forget what he said. He looked at me and said, math's not hard. It's the teacher. And it's funny because now I'm married to a math teacher. Sidebar there. So she would tutor me in math. And it was then... Um, a friend, but now she's my sister-in-law, Diane Riddle. She really was there. She held space for me. When my mom was ill for four or five months, she was in and out of the hospitals and very ill. My dad worked night shift. I really had nowhere to go. I was the youngest. My siblings were gone. You know, they were out of the house. So I had just nowhere to turn. And she took me in and I stayed with her for about, like I said, three or four months. And she never judged. Never, you know, I was a wild child. Never said anything. She was just always filled with love, always filled with encouragement, always, you can do this, don't worry about it, you're doing good, you're, you're, you're fine, you're on the right path. You know, and I never looked back and said, you know, Diane, thank you so much. You, you know, you're a great sister-in-law, thank you so much for holding that space for me. So as we celebrate today, the International Women's Day, think back to the women that have helped you on your path. And now's the time to say, hey, thanks. You know, unfortunately, I don't know where Mrs. Walker is. I sadly don't even know her first name. And it's funny because back then, I probably thought she was 40 or 50. And she probably was really only 25 or 30. So if anybody back in Hermitage, Pennsylvania knows where Mrs. Walker is, let me know so I can give her a shout out and thank her so much. And Diane Riddle, I know you're on my stuff. So thank you so much for holding this space. Take the time, you guys. Give a shout out to your mentors. Give a shout out to the people that got you where you are today because Without the help, we wouldn't be where we're at. And to quote Madeleine Albright is my final comment. There's a special place in hell for women that don't help each other. So please take time. Reach back to the women that have helped you get to where you're at and commit that you are going to pay it forward to other women so we can all rise up in the collective. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day. Talk to you later.